Hello, good morning everyone. Good morning. How are you all? I am fine. Very good. Okay, Suran, uh, can you tell me? Did you know what is mean by noun? No, teacher. No, you didn't learn noun. Okay, I will teach you name. what is mean by noun. Ah, name. See, noun means name of any person, place, animal, or thing. Okay, remember noun means any person, name of any person, place, animal, or thing. For example, for example, any animal, can you tell me name of animal? Lion. Cat. Cat, lion, anything. Pen, pencil, chair, table. Okay. And any person's name? What is your name? That is now. Girl, boy, yes, Harshad, Chintu. It is called noun. Name of any person, place, animal, or thing is called noun. So, did you understand what is mean by noun? Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, today, we are going to learn singular noun and plural noun. What we are going to learn? Singular noun and plural noun. Just now I told you the definition of noun. Noun means name of any person, place, animal or thing. Now what do you mean by singular noun? See, noun which refers to one person, animal or thing is called singular noun. For example, one girl, one boy, one cat. These are singular nouns. See here. Singular noun. Noun. Which refers to one person, animal or thing is called singular noun. For example, for example, girl. Table, pen. These things are one, means one table, one girl, one pen. So it is a singular. Okay? So tell me the examples of singular noun. Flower. Tell me example of singular noun. Flower. Yes, flower. Tree. Boy, girl. These are singular nouns. Now, what is mean by plural noun? We are going to learn plural noun also. Noun, which refers to that one person, place, Animal or thing is called plural noun. More than one is plural. Okay? See. Plural noun. Noun which refers to more than one person. Place called plural noun. For example, girl, table and paint. We add S at the end of the word while forming the plural noun. Okay? Did you understand? Now, I have one pen. One pen. It is singular noun. Pen is singular noun. One pen and many... 
Many pens. Many pens. We add S at the end of the word. One pen, many pens. Okay? Now, one notebook. It is singular. One notebook. Many notebooks. It is plural. Many notebooks. How we form plural noun by adding s at the end of the word. See here. Singular and plural. One and many. Who can read this first word? What is the first word? Boat. Yes, one boat. Many boats. Second one. One chair. Many chairs. Then third one. One ball. Many balls. Then next word. One bag. Many bags. One one bag, many bags. One then, pot, many pots. One pot, many pots. Pot. Okay. Yes, teacher. So you understood the singular and plural. Now I'm going to show you some pictures. Can you see the PPT? Yes. 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 What we are learning singular and plural here. What can you see in this picture? What is this? Apple. Apple. Very good. Next picture. One. Car, mini car. Then one avocado, many avocados. Many caro. One banana, many bananas. Many Every time we are adding at the end.
one pumpkin, many pumpkins. One pumpkin, many pumpkins. One cat, many cat. One cat, many cat. One turtle, many turtles. One turtle, many turtles. One chick. Say it. Hello. One chick, many chick. One cat, many cats. One cat, many cats. One dog, many dogs. One dog, many dogs. One pig, many pigs. One pig, many pigs. Okay, very good. Now see singular and plural. Singular and plural. Here are some examples. So, it. Can you read it? One bird, many bird. Hello. One bee. Huh? I. I. One, one broom, many brooms. One, one broom, many brooms. Huh? One camel, many camels. One camel, many camel. One desk, many desks. One pen, many pens. One doll, many dolls. One doll, many dolls. One egg, many eggs. One egg, many eggs. One flower, many flowers. One flower, many flowers. One fork, many forks. One fox, many fox. One game, many games. One game, many games. One lamb, many lambs. One lamb, many lambs. One nest, many nests. One nest, many nests. One pen, many pens. One pen, many pens. One photo, many photos. One photo, many photos. One shirt, many shirts. One shirt, many shirts. Very good. So you understood the concept of singular and plural noun. Yes? Yes, teacher. Now, I'm going to show you some words. Tell me the plural form of these words. Okay? Okay, teacher. What is this? Chalk. One chalk. And many? One chalk. Many chalks. Many chalks. What is the spelling? C-H-A-L-K-S. We add S over here. Okay? Then, okay, what is this? One goat, many goat. Goat, goat. Goat, goat, many goat. What is this? One apple, many apples. Apple, apples. One doll, many dolls. 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 So, did you understand singular noun and plural noun? Yes, teacher. Very good. What will you do today? Write any 10 singular and plural noun. Okay? Just now, I show you very too much examples. Yes, no? Of singular and plural nouns. So today you will write 10 examples of singular noun and plural noun. 
Will you write it? Yes, Miss. Very good. Did you understand it? Yes, teacher. Very good. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye.